Hi there and welcome to the Python Mega Course Build Tear Your World Applications. I assume uh, you're curious to know what this course contains and you also want to know what you will achieve by completing this course. So that's what this introductory video is all about. My name is Ardit Sulce and I have been teaching on Udemy more than one and a half year now and I have thousands of students and thousands of reviews on my courses as well. I'm also a freelancer, mainly using Python for data analysis and visualizations. I have worked in the JS sector as well, where Python has a very respected position. Back to the course content now. You don't need any previous knowledge of Python to take this course. The course will take you from zero and you'll build up the skills slowly and advance them as you will build these 10 applications. Uh, this is called a mega course because first it has 22 hours of content and second the course will guide you on how to create 10 large applications in different areas of Python starting from data analysis to visualizations on the web and web apps with databases and many more. And specifically you will build these 10 applications. First you will start small by first building a program that generates text given some user-defined rules. Then, as the second application, you will build a program that creates web maps. And after that, you will build a program that blocks access to certain websites uh, in certain hours during the day in your computer. This program has been quite useful for me personally, as it doesn't let me browse distracting websites while I'm working. So that improves my productivity. And then as the fourth application, you are going to build a website with Python and the Flask framework. And not just that, but you will also learn how to deploy the website in a live server so that everyone can see your website through the website URL address. Then you will build a desktop program that interacts with a database and lets users store, delete and view data through the program graphical user interface, which you are going to build with Python. Next, you'll create a program that starts the computer webcam and starts recording the video and it detects movement live in the video frame that is being captured. And so the program also records motion data and produces a web graph with an overview of the motion that took place in front of the camera. And all this process is fully automatic. Next, you will create a web scraper, which is a program that extracts data from websites and stores those data in a well-structured format, such as CSV or Excel files. Then you'll create a web app which visualizes stock market data on a web page. This is very useful for people who work on data analysis and visualizations. And after that, you'll build a web app using Python and the Flask web framework. This web app will have a PostgreSQL database as well in the back end and in the front end it will have an HTML form where users can submit data and then the program sends an automatic email to the users uh, with some statistics extracted from the back end database. So that's a very interesting web application with lots of features. And lastly, you will create a web application that lets users submit addresses of locations and the program converts those addresses to geographic numeric coordinates and lets the user download the output through the web page. So that's about the 10 applications. All the content is yours and you have unlimited access. However, here is my advice now. Let's be honest. If all you do is watching the videos without trying the codes that I show in the videos, you won't be able to learn Python easily. You cannot learn how to drive a car by just watching someone else do it, right? So make sure you write and play around with the code I show in the videos and don't just copy my code, uh, but try to experiment, change some parts of the code around the program again and, and see how the output changes. Also, try to solve the assignments you are given because there are a few assignments throughout the course. And also ask questions in the Q&A area, so in the question and answer area. Uh, do internet research and be persistent on solving code issues which always arise while programming, no matter how good you are. If you do all that, you will have very good control of the Python programming language and you'll be ready to apply for at least an entry-level job after you finish this course. That's about the course. 
Now, feel free to go to the next lecture, and I wish you good luck. Thanks.